All righty, let's play this in full first. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? But you can't. Cool. Oh, I like it. But you can't. But you can't do this to me. I started. Yeah, there's great detail already, and you got your but hand you do this to me. shaking here. I like your little. But you can't do this to me. The glasses tapping. Do this to me. You got good push off on the fingers. They're a bit wiggly. If you look, so there's a lot of noise going on there. You might have to stabilize that a little bit, but overall, it's great. And you might potentially on this. I would probably flatten those hands. I like that you have a change and that they're a bit like this. But maybe at this point, as he's pushing so much towards the end, it's, I don't know, you could, something to try to really show the squash on it and kind of push those fingers down. I started this company. Watch out. I would just offset those fingers a bit. And I'm mentioning details because you're so far along. So this is just detail work. But um, So they're not post to pose. So you have a bit of a an offset in some of the fingers. I started this company. Do this to me. I started. And it's almost like, I wonder if at this point, I mean, even though he has the exhale and everything, I wonder if you could tense them up a bit. I mean, not obviously not like a rake, like what I'm doing here, but just a tenser pose that then leads into the fist, right? Because he has that already in him. I started this company. And then it's like the, oh, all of this. And then it's a bit more relaxed. You know how And then as you build up, you go back into more of a tenser view there. You know how much I sacrificed? It's cool. That was really cool. But you can't do this to me. The only thing I would say here. Do this to me. Do this to me. There's a slight feel of. This to me. Do this to me. It's almost like both arms are kind of moving at the same time. It's not quite pose to pose, but there's something where it's a bit all moving at the same time. But then also, as I scrub through this, especially you can see this where it feels like that head just kind of goes back and this gets very stiff here. Where it's just, I see arms and head moving, but then the chest not doing much. Then you go forward. But the only thing I would do here to tweak that is this to me. do this to me, where it's... Everything's also back in one axis where I would just have a little bit of rotation in Y, maybe something in the side that then also gives it a bit of a something in the chest. This to me. So he goes up and faces them, so it's almost... Can't do this to me. I mean, you can do it two, way, two ways. Do this to me. And during the me, a bit of rotation towards them or away from them because he wants to disengage and he's thinking about something else as he gets up and then he turns to them. It's kind of up to you, but I would just do that. Do this to me. Just this still feels suddenly a bit too simple with a bit of that IK move back on that head without a rotation. And if it's having a little bit in there, I think it would be cool. This to me. <sighs> this is great. You inhale. This to me. On that exhale, I think it's okay. Just wondering if you could push that somehow more with a bit of a head move in the jaw, pushing a bit more. That should be okay. Might be too picky. I think it's cool how much shoulder movement you have. I would just offset them by a frame or two because they're so exaggerated. They're so huge that it kind of draws attention to itself that they're so in sync. But it's cool because I'm looking at your rotations and you have also rotation right away in Y there. Then coming back. It's cool. I started this company. Company. I started this company. This company. This company. Just through there, as he relaxes, I'll probably push that rotation Y in the head a bit more. So it's a bit of a turn towards us. I know these are extremely picky notes, and you mentioned you might not have time for that. 
uh, before CTN, but... I started this company. I started this company. Because to me, he's all <laughs> think, uh, breathing and he's just, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in him. And I think those moments there where he completely locks in the head. Again, I feel like the rotation is the same as the body goes back. You have a lot of shoulder movement where I'd be careful. So, to me, like this moment right through there, it just, things feel just suddenly a bit too stiff and, and almost simple. Where if you bring shoulders up, I would do something with it in the chest, maybe even in the Y. And as you go back with the body, you can see how the head rotation is always the same. Company. So it's company, and I would then relax and bring that head even down in Y a little bit. So rotate down and a bit in Y. Company. That can then lead into this. And watch out, like a shoulder move like this. I see a little bit in there, but a little bit of rotation this way in the chest. Let's just be careful when you have a lot of separate shoulder moves that this suddenly feels a bit stiff. You know how much I sacrificed? It's cool. I like all that buildup. It's great. You know but again, it's a lot in the shoulder. So maybe even through here, you can have a little bit of rotation in Y that leads into this. I know you want that explosion here, but you can have a little bit of slow anticipation into this. So it's not just shoulders. You know how much I sacrificed? You know how much I... The only thing that's a bummer here is that we're losing this pupil. He's getting really mad. This is cool. Like, that's great. I love that. And then we have those moments here where, hey, wait, are you looking at me? And we're losing that eye. And especially through this, you can see how much we're losing it. And he's really lo lo uh, looking at me. But then we're back into this, which is great. So if there's anything I would tweak and anything that I just said, it was this moment. It's just a bummer and I'm confused as to why he's looking at me. If there's anything you can do where... It's almost like, what could you do? It moves over this way to move him almost a bit more in Y globally. So that when you go into all of this, he's slightly more turned towards us. I don't know. I don't know how you would fix it, but it might just be not rotating the head enough or that much. And it's going a bit further back this way to not ever go less or more than this. Maybe this in between these two and keep that left or right look. That's all great. That's all cool. I sacrificed. You could potentially even drop that head lower a bit with a bit of a sideways tilt, mainly because you have that massive throw. And now that that swing of that arm, it's stopped by the shoulder and the chest. But that that move in is gonna kind of push this way and bring that head towards us, if that makes sense. So you have a little bit more swing so it's not so stiff so that through this section you don't have the chest and head as one big piece through there. Nice. And then even potentially then with a bit more left and right tilting of the head. Was he so out of control here? Nice. With that waddle is great. Oh, watch out that the head doesn't turn too much into a gimbal where there's so much moving here but then the head stays fairly straight. I think you can make him a bit more out of control, moving the head in space, in screen space left and right. I sacrificed! It's really cool though. Picky here, watch out. You're moved down with that arm. Bam! It's a bit sharp, I think, given again how... <sighs> like the moves, I think I would just kind of overshoot this a bit and come back. And I know we're actually just cutting out so to me it feels like you could just keep swinging and maybe start an ease in and then cut on that right now it just suddenly feels like the arm just suddenly stops into like a, a bit of an unnatural bang and it's almost tied to this arm stop stopping the, its move forward it's almost weirdly pose to pose and then you end up being a bit twins so i think if you just do this where it's a bit more of a swing you would end up with a pose that's, you know, where it's something that's a bit more offset. Not that this is a great pose, but I'm saying generally there's a bit more asymmetry in there. All right. That's kind of it. I sacrificed. Maybe, maybe one more thing, since this is so awesome. Sacrificed. And he's so like, ah, here you would have 
stern but higher eyebrow so we see a little bit of the white above the pupils to stay in that in that crazy pose because now we're back to almost a bit this type of emotion not emotion in terms of what the eyebrows are doing but just in terms of how much we see the eyes and it feels like this is such a rah, rah, that he's, he's, he's just rah. he's still in that mood he's like rah, that we could almost stay within I'm looking to see a frame you don't really have anything. But this is too much. Well, if we go back, 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 back. Maybe this much widening and that much white at the ends. So it's not so closed off. Just a thought. Uh, and again, I know you don't have much time. Just kind of thinking out loud to see what's going on there. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.